Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. I have another um, little teaser puzzle here, um, just a little test of uh, your knowledge of the Order of Operations Convention. And the problem we have today is 6 minus 6 times 6 plus 6 minus 6 equals what? All right, so we're going to think about this one for a minute. Um, if you haven't heard of the Order of Operations Convention, um, I do have a separate video that goes into that in more detail. Basically, uh, the Order of Operations is uh, a convention that's been taught um, basically to everybody who's been through elementary school or uh, primary school, I suppose, if you're in the UK, uh, wherever in the world you are. Um, it's a pretty early uh, pretty early instruction in the first several years of school. But uh, anyhow, the, the basic idea here is that we need to follow the Order of Operations Convention. And again, like I say here, this has been covered uh, in some other videos I have. I'll put some links in the uh, video description for this video. Um, and I just want to stress the point, first of all, that the Order of Operations Convention is not new mathematics. All right, so uh, basically as we look at this problem, we see that there are no parentheses. Uh, you may refer to those as brackets also. There are no exponents. Uh, some might call those orders or indices, uh, but we don't have any of those. So the way order of operations works is we go to look for multiplication and division, and we solve those left to right. And then uh, we want to solve any addition or subtraction left to right. So here in this problem, um, if we're going left to right. We see that we run into multiplication uh, before we run into division. Uh, we do not do the subtraction first uh, because multiplication and division have higher precedent. Um, and that's explained more in the other videos. But um, so the very first operation is going to be 6 times 6. And so you can see here how I have the arrow dropping down. Uh, the problem now becomes 6 minus 36 plus 6 divided by 6. All right, and then the next um, operation that we have is division. Now, the only reason we did multiplication first is because it was to the left. It was the first thing we ran into. Had the division been the first thing we ran into, we would have solved that. But uh, in this case, we're, we're going to divide uh, 6 divided by 6, which we should all know that that is equal to 1. So now our problem reduces down to 6 minus 36 plus 1. And what is that equal to? Well, now we're just left with our subtraction and addition. Uh, 6 minus 36 is negative 30. Negative 30 plus 1 is negative 29. So the, uh, the only correct answer here is negative 29. Um, we do not solve the problem uh, left to right and ignore the order of operations. We do not do subtraction. You do not do 6 minus 6 and then multiply by 6, and then add 6, and then divide by 6. Um, you, it's not a book. It's not a sentence. Uh, we're doing mathematics, so you just don't blindly solve left to right. You, we do go left to right, but you have to follow the order of operation. And again, I'm going to have uh, some links in the description uh, so for some more videos that go into more detail and actually covers things like the acronyms, like BODMAS and PEMDAS and so on. Um, also, I want to just briefly say you can use a scientific calculator to check your answer. Uh, we do have to be a little careful about that because not all calculators are created equal. You can use a scientific calculator um, or you know, an Android phone calculator works great. Uh, this is a, a screenshot from uh, my own Android phone. And um, those have the memory uh, basically what's known as an internal stack to handle multiple operations. Uh, very cheap calculators will not work. Uh, one of the frustrating things to me is that uh, on a Windows computer, 
whether you have Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11, uh, the standard default calculator on the Windows PC is a standard mode. You'll actually see the word standard in the upper left. Um, that calculator also will not work properly. You can switch it over to scientific mode, and then you will get the correct answer of negative 29. And it just really has to do with the fact that the cheap calculators, uh, the simple calculators lack the internal stack to handle multiple operations. They cannot keep track of them. So you've got to use the right calculator. So um, I never, never suggest... I never tell somebody, well, just go use a calculator and then come back to me and tell me what you think. Because oftentimes that person grabs their one that they bought at the Dollar Tree or they got on sale at Walmart for 50 cents and it gives them the wrong answer and then it reinforces their 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 bad answer. Um, but you got you to gotta be careful because, again, calculators are not created equal. Um, so I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I want to say again, I do appreciate everyone who subscribed. Um, I think we've gone from, uh, I mean, the current today's date that I'm doing this video, it's July uh, 15th, I believe. And I think we're up to like 80 subscribers already in a short period of time. So I really do appreciate it. Um, it does help the channel. Um, I hope to make more videos. I hope to make better videos, you know, as I learn the techniques of uh, uh, doing video editing and so on. I hope to get better. It's kind of a new area for me. But um, I want to keep creating some content that might be helpful to people uh, and help them with some basic math skills. Um, so yeah, the, uh, we're, on, we're on YouTube. We have this YouTube channel. Also do have a Facebook page where I try to update uh, when posts are coming out or new videos are coming out. Uh, so please check those out. Like, subscribe. Um, please share. You know, feel free if you see a problem and you're like, hey, I saw that video, uh, yeah, go feel free to share it, you know, on Facebook or whatever forum you might be in. I, I do appreciate it and it helps me out. Thank you and have a great day.